What's up guys? Today we are back in Orlando, Florida. We got invited to a museum of some sort. It's 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 a mall is basically what it is, is what I've heard. It's an old mall that was abandoned here in Florida. And um, some millionaire billionaire bought it and turned it into basically his own personal collection museum of different cars, different uh, movie cars. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff to do and basically turn this place into a giant complex. And I've had car shows here before. Unfortunately, I have missed them. And this is my first time here. So, well, I got invited. Um, a friend of mine who actually works here uh, told me about it and is going to take us on a little tour and see what this place is all about. We made it inside the museum. Um, what it looks like a small car museum is very deceiving to the eye because this place is massive. Um, I'll probably be here all day, but in the meantime, we do have somebody here that could help us along and give us a better explanation of pretty much what this place is and what it's all about. Hi, your name is? Uh, my name is JJ. I am the events and museum manager here at Desert Land Park Orlando. Great. So everything you see here is a private collection. All one owner, Mr. Michael Dezer, uh, a real estate billionaire. The gentleman uh, throughout the years uh, has put a collection together for the love, not only for himself, but to show the world of, like, he, like you said, cars from all around the world, cars of the stars, and a whole bunch of surprises a lot of people don't expect for us to have here. Uh, not, not only that, but throughout the museum, you see that he tries to make a, just a slight difference compared to any kind of collection put together in one spot. Because not only he buys cars, he also buys different collections. I just, you, you would see a couple different rooms, some dedicated to solely motorcycles, some dedicated to outboard engines, uh, and, and the list goes on and on. Cool, cool.
course, what movie collection would not be complete without a DeLorean? guys we are in the hall of batman and apparently mr deezer if i said that correctly uh is a real big batman fan and as you can tell he has almost every single movie real numbered movie cars including this one so what was it that you were saying was so special about this one so ladies and gentlemen let me introduce you to the serial number one george barrett's bill for adam west himself on the original 60s series including we have it's Barry Hellman as well with his DNA still in there so any, any true fan would know kapow <laughs> <laughs> wow that's awesome so this is the original number one Barris well, built the for the one, show uh, hero, car. Wait, hero car that's amazing Ooh. dude that's so crazy So just so you guys know, Batman uses pro comp gauges. <laughs> In the Batman car, look at this thing, man. This is. It pulls you up there. Oh God. <laughs> It's like being in a speedboat, oh my god. Whew. God, I hope you don't have any kind of phobias. <laughs> something new about some of these old cars um, apparently back in the day people didn't get along with their in-laws and <laughs> they created this little seat back here that pops over and looks like a trunk but it's not really a trunk this actually opens up and there's a seat back in there hence what these are steps to get up to your seat so that's a good way to throw the, the in-laws in the back seat very cool
Bond. James Bond. So one of the two most expensive vehicles they have here is right here, our crowning jewel, the DB5, the very DB5 that Sean Connery drove in the 1964 film Goldfinger. With all the gadgets, everything works, including it's still rotating the original switcheroo license plate. <laughs> nice. So both both of these cars are the highest value cars in the season. We got the 2000 GT, the car itself is already a rarity, but then it's outfitted with all the gadgets that was used with them in the movie, and then, I mean, these, these this two is, works are hard. This, this is, I mean, that, that car is definitely an icon, but coming from a Toyota guy? <laughs> I mean, right now, right? Uh, my God.